I would categorize this as world rustic. Having traveled in the Middle East and being uh, Latin American myself, I just thought um, that was kind of home for me. And then I looked at Reno and saw what everybody was doing and I saw that there was uh, kind of a void for cultural art in, in those areas in Reno. A lot of people that have traveled don't like to buy stuff that's made in China because it doesn't resonate um, anything to them. And there's items in here that they know they'll never see again. And, and people that are in love with art tend to buy what they want. My customers are absolutely looking for something amazing and they tend to find it. Right. Most of these pieces that are in my store that are made by local artists will never be reproduced because the pieces are one-off pieces or they're, or they're not replicated in, in the masses. It really does add uh, a different vibe to my store and give my store a lot of originality. Anytime somebody's hands has touched something, there's so much love in that piece you can almost feel it. You know, the patio section is my favorite because as an artist myself, I like to uh, do a lot of reclaiming, recycling, and I get a chance to do a little bit of Americana out there. I started um, taking down barns and getting a collection of barn wood, and I bet built two porticos outside in my garden area. It just provides a whole different atmosphere for my store. You walk into these rooms and you're not expecting to have an outside area with a bunch of garden art. It's an opportunity for me to show off a lot of local art because I have a lot of room outside and I can um, show giant pieces from local art. We want to be reminded of a stream or um, some place where we've been and and my store's uh, pretty well known for making some pretty fantastic fountains that not only look good, but they sound great. It's a beautiful uh, coalescence of form, function, and sound, and just really relaxing and very peaceful. And it's very cultural at the same time. I think uh, Makano's does have the most original fountains in Reno by far. The wall art is very non-typical. It's a lot of metal, a lot of wood, and um, very cultural. If you look around here, there's not a lot of framing on my art. Uh, most of the art is real raw. I think people are excited about what I'm doing, especially the wall art, because they can come in and put um, two or three pieces together, or just one, and they've never seen anything like the wall art I have in my store. And I think a lot of people are coming in just to look at what I have, as well as get an idea what they can do different in their homes. There's pieces in here that I've had people from Australia, Egypt, Morocco, Bali look at and are amazed by. That's a jewel in any town. It's unusual, it's fun, and it blooms your imagination. Most of the stores in Reno don't have that ability to produce, make, and buy local art that is cultural, that is diverse enough that you've never seen it. I've always wanted to do something different. I, I've always done different things in my life. I've never followed the crowd. I always do what I like, and my life is diverse, and McConnell shows up.